Good morning, everybody. Today it's Wednesday and it's recovery and speed. And you know what's easier than recovery and speed? Clicking on that subscribe button. Yesterday, I did a double run, meaning I ran once in the morning and once in the evening. In the morning, I did the track session with HRC. We did a VO2 max workout, 10 400s. I was able to spend about three minutes of VO2 max. And on the previous Saturday in our session, I was able to spend about six minutes of VO2 max. And on the Thursday before that, I did a tempo run, but not quite at tempo effort, more like at marathon pace effort. And I was able to get one mile in at tempo pace. When I look at the past seven days overall, I got a fair amount of VO2 max time, nine minutes in total, which is good for the week for me. But I didn't spend enough time at tempo effort. So yesterday I took advantage of the fact that I had very low mileage. Although the quality was high in the morning, my overall mileage was low for the day. So I added on a five mile run with two miles at tempo pace. This gave me 10 miles for the day, which is good for me. My legs are good today for this recovery run and they'll be ready for tomorrow's pacing duties for a few miles at marathon pace and a couple at tempo effort. So be sure to use opportunities when you can do a double in one day when you can. By looking at the last seven days overall and making sure that you have balance and that you're not overworked. Today we're going to do strides a little bit differently. On the schedule for speed work, we have five strides. We typically do strides in 100 meter intervals. We slowly build up from 70 to 80% max speed in the first third. And in the second third, we build up to top speed. And then we decelerate in the final third, back down to 70 to 80% to finish out each 100 meter stride. Today we're gonna to use a method that Coach Alex used when he was a high school student and running cross country. Coach Alex was the high school cross country state champion in Florida. And he swears by this method that Ryan Hall also used to use. Today we'll do five strides. In the first stride, we will get a jogging start. We'll take about five to 10 meters to get a jogging head start. And at the start line of our 50 meter strides, we'll go all out for 50 meters. We're gonna focus on good form, staying tall, picking up our feet with good turnover and cadence, keeping our arms nice and small, our arm motion nice and small and loose. After we recover fully, we'll do our second 50 meter stride. This time, we'll get on the line. We'll get into a start ready position and then we'll go off the line, all out, as hard as we can, maintaining good form and finishing strong all the way to the finish. For the third 50 meter stride, we'll get on the line again, but this time standing in the opposite stance and make sure you get your arm position in the right arrangement. It can feel a little awkward. It'll be very uncomfortable with this start position, but it'll get you thinking and have you more focused on getting off the line and driving with your legs and staying relaxed in your upper body. The fourth 50 meter stride will be from a standing position, but facing the opposite direction from the finish line. This will add another distraction for us to turn around and then focus on getting off the line, maintaining good form, and then working hard to the finish. The final 50 meter stride will be from a laying position. You'll lay face down on the ground with your head towards the finish line. From there, we'll pop up and you'll need some athleticism for this. And then you'll start your knee drive and then take off towards the finish line. Remember, making good form, stay loose up top, keep your arm swing 
small and stand tall. Whatever your race distance, whether it's the marathon or the 5K, developing your top end speed will help make your race pace feel much easier. So incorporate strides on recovery days and you'll be knocking down personal bests all over the place. Hey Evan, you've been looking really good at the track these days during speed sessions. Really fast and under control and calm. Thank you. I think doing strides in the last week and a half has been really helpful. Does it feel a lot easier on the track when we're doing speed work these days? Yeah. That's awesome. I'm glad it worked really well for you. And I'm sure it will for you as well. I hope you found this talk helpful. We're gonna finish up this recovery run and we're gonna enjoy the rest of this day. I hope you enjoy your day and have a meaningful run. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.